Hello, in this video I will be demonstrating the Conix app for the TI-84 Plus CE and the TI-84 Plus. Let's begin by pressing our Apps key. You should see in your Apps menu the Conix app listed. If you do not, you can always refer back to my video on how to update an operating system and install apps from the TI website. I will include a link to that video in this video's description. I will select number 4, Conix, and I'm now inside the app. I can see there are four options, Circle, Ellipse, Hyperbola, Parabola. I will select number 1, Circle. I see the center radius form, and I see the standard form. On the far right hand side, you have the ability to change the color by pressing the right or left arrows. But if I select number one for the center radius form, I get to choose the H, K, and R values down below. So I'll put in two, enter, three, enter, four. When I press graph, which is associated with the graph key, I will see my circle centered at 2, 3 and has a radius of 4. When I press trace, I have the ability to trace the circumference of the circle to pull any data values that might be of interest for my graph. To turn it off, I simply hit clear. I will now press second mode, which is my quit, and I'm taken back to the Conix application. Let's now select number two, ellipse. You can see that one and two look very similar, yet notice that the a squared and b squared are changed in the formulas. Look at how it's depicted over here on the right. This ellipse is stretched horizontally while well, this ellipse is stretched vertically. I'll go ahead and select the first ellipse and I see that A, B, H, and K are variables that I can change in this equation. Notice that H and K already have values in place. That's because I just used the H and K in the circle equation. So I will enter in 3 for A 2 for B, 1 for H, and I'll keep K at 3. When I hit graph, I now see the image of my ellipse. The center is at 1, 2, and it is stretched 3 units from the center point in the X direction and 2 units from the center in the Y direction. I can get out of this graph screen by pressing Y equals. I'm taken to my ellipse formula where I can change the values. Pressing Y equals, which is associated with escape, takes me back to my ellipse previous menu. And Y equals again takes me back to my conix menu. The hyperbola and parabola features are very similar. If I selected number three hyperbola, you can see the difference in the formulas and you can see the change in how the graph should appear. If I press escape and select number four parabola, you can see the slight difference in the formulas and how it will affect the graph. Pressing escape will take me back to my Conix menu. Pressing the graph button will quit the app. I will now change my emulator to the TI-84 Plus. And now let's look at the Conix app as it appears on the 84 plus. I see my conics menu, circle, ellipse, hyperbola, parabola. When I select number one for circle, I still see the standard form and center radius form. I'll select the center radius form. H, K, and R are right there. I'll put in negative one, three, Four. When I hit the graph button, I see the picture of a circle centered at negative one, three that has a radius of four. 
The Conix app for the TI-84 Plus is very similar to that of the 84 Plus CE. You can use your Y equals to escape, right back to the main menu, and you can choose any of the other options. Select how you would like it to look, and then put in your data values. When you hit graph, you see the image of your conic.